I'm back. Good evening, Blended Divas. I am Flawless Faces by Kenny. If you want to see how I achieve this wonderful look, then keep on watching. Also, this look has been recreated by the candy shop. So, if you haven't tuned in to her on Facebook, go ahead and join her group. It is called the candy shop. And you will see where I got this look from. If you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I'm uploading a new video or either live here on YouTube. But if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. So I will be working out of the Jarrock University eyeshadow palette by Clean and Makeup by Yolando. I will list it in the description bar below. But I'm going in for my transition in the tropical shade, which is the light green. And I'm just gonna pat, pat, pat that shadow on and build it up to the pigmentation that I desire. And then I'm going to go in in my lower crease with the dark green, which is called Yardy. Yardy. And I'm going to build that green up also to the pigmentation of my desire. Once I get done with that, then I will be going to my Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I will be grabbing the dark blue shade that's in there. Of course, you know the Take Me Back to Brazil palette do not have any colors name. But I will be uh, grabbing the dark blue color out of there and working that color in my outer crease. See now that I'm patted that color on there, I'm going back to blend. Remember to blend. Now I'm going into the color that I told you I was going to go into, which is the dark shade green that's in that color. I mean, in that palette correction, which is going to be yardy after I get finished packing and blending. palette and I'm just working that dark blue in my outer corner and I'm going to add that in the outer corner and I'm going to pat and blend pat and blend Thank <laughs> you. 
right after I get done with that, now I'm finna go in and cut my crease. And I'm gonna cut my crease using my P. Louise base in the color Rumor 2. And I'm cutting my crease with my Morphe brush, my M167 brush to cut the crease. And also I'm taking my crease up a little higher because I want these colors to show and pop. So out of the Universal Jam Rock palette, I will be going in with the yellow color, which is called Glow. That's in that palette. I will be putting that in the middle of my lid and in my inner tear duct. I will be going in with the white shimmer color that's in the palette, which is also called Glow. Once I go uh, get through doing that and blending, I will go back on top of the yellow color to glow with the glitter goldy color that is called Trophy in their palette.
right here. I'm just showing you the palette. It is called the Jam Rock Universal Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going in with the colors that I'm showing you here. And these are all the colors that I use to put on my lid. Also, I went to the Take Me Back to Brazil palette in that dark blue that I told you I went in for my outer corner. That was the color that I used. Now I'm about to go in and line my eye, which I always say I hate this part to do a wing liner. But I'm going to do a dramatic wing, wing liner, excuse me. And I'm going in with my Knits liquid eyeliner and then I'm going to go back on top with my uh, liquid eyeliner from Sephora. It's a Sephora black liquid eyeliner. going to go in with uh, face. We're going to go into face now and I'm using my Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation and it's in the color Sienna. That's Sienna S-I-E-N-N-A and I'm going to uh, put the foundation on my face and we're going to go into highlighting and contouring blush and all that other fun stuff. Everything that I used on my face will be listed in the description bar below. After I get finished spreading my foundation all evenly over my face with my foundation crown brush, I like to go in with my foundation sponge just to press the foundation into the skin and smooth it all over and blend it. Now we're coming to the highlighting and contouring part. I like to highlight with one of my favorite highlighters which is uh, Mary Kay concealer in the color light brown. I'm sorry, right here the moment. And this is how I highlight and contour my face. And I will be going into the contour palette, which is the Black Radiance Contour Palette. For those of y'all who's balling on a budget, it is a good um uh, contour palette to get and it's inexpensive i think it retails like 6.99 but i will list it in my description bar below but once i highlight i like to blend with a real technique sponge and it is slightly damp and like i always say blend 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 because blend is your friend blend it until it look like skin hello
Once I get done highlighting with my concealer, I like to immediately go in with my setting powder. And this setting powder that I'm using is the Black Radiant Setting Powder, and it's in the color Banana. And I easy bake, I do not bake, I easy bake, which means I put it on and blend it right on in. Now we're going into my favorite part, which is contouring. Like I said, I'm using the Black Radiance Contour Palette, medium to dark. And this is the way that I contour my face. Everyone's face is different, so you have to contour to the uh, shape of your face. But this is the way I like to contour. And then once I go around my forehead, I like to blend down because I have a big forehead and this is one step that you can do if you want to give the illusion of a smaller forehead if you have a big forehead you blend down into your highlight and as I blend I like to go under my cheek and blend up into my highlight this is my preference this is my method this is what I do contour my nose I take a brown eyeshadow brush and I just go down and contour my nose blend it out on the side I like for my nose to be pinch not snatch but pinch so this is how I pinch my nose Then here I just like to take my feel good brush and dust off that excess powder and make sure that everything is blended well. And now we're going in with blush. I like to take my blush blender brush to put my blush on and I will list the blush that I use down in the description bar below. Once I get done uh, with my blush, then that's when I like to set my face. And also the setting sprays that I use, I will list it down below. Now, after I get done setting my face, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera. And I will be back with my finished product. So stay tuned. So, this is the complete look. Thank you.